When I started here 10 years ago, I never thought that I would ever have a chef de cuisine working underneath me, or with, and not just underneath me, but with me. Um, there was one chef when I started, there wasn't even a sous chef, and now here we are with two restaurants and two chef de cuisines, managing and taking care of the day-to-day -day work, and it's just been a real pleasure working with you. And I've learned so much from you, and I feel like we're a really amazing team. And the restaurant's come so far, and I'm just glad to finally give you the credit that you deserve. And having your name on the menu, and having you go out into the dining room when I'm not around, or at one of the other restaurants, has really given me great pleasure. And I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. I have. I appreciate it. It's, it is an honor, and started here just as a line cook, and didn't expect to be in this position. And I learned so much. I just came here to learn from Sue. And she, I mean, Gotro's was definitely one of the places that I wanted to work. Um, on the top of my list. So when I came in, I was just nervous and just wanted to be a line cook and, and just to learn. Sorry if I ever yelled at you. <laughs> <laughs> One of the reasons that I think I've been at Gotro's for so long is when I, the day that I walked in here 10 years ago and I walked into this dining room and I thought, this is exactly what I want. 60 seats, an upstairs private dining room, and we're never gonna do more than 200 people, if that. I don't think we've ever done 200 people. And having that intimacy and that being able to give each dish 100% of our attention, I think, sets us apart from other places. Definitely. And, and not that I'm knocking any large restaurants, but it's nice to have a small, you know, small restaurant and we can keep our eyes on every single dish that goes out. Yeah. I mean, the thing that I enjoy about being a smaller restaurant is that I, I mean, I cook every day, you cook every day. I mean, and that was, you know, Part of the thing that I really saw is how much, how hard you worked and how much you really poured into your food. And I mean, first and foremost, I got in this career because I like to cook. So, you know, at some of the bigger restaurants, when you move up and you become sous chef or chef, you, um, you know, you kind of lose that element of actually getting to cook. You know, you're more of a manager and, you know, you get more into ordering and things like that. But here, with it being small and intimate, I still get to cook every day and, you know, have a big part in that, and that's what I really enjoy, because that's, I mean, that's why I got into it, was cooking. Well, I didn't get into cooking to sit in an office, <laughs> and that's why we don't really have an office. We just, our, the kitchen is our office, where we do all of our work, and I love cooking. I love making the stocks and sauces and touching everything. I like to at least have my hands in it, so I feel connected right. to the food.